What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about the option for the guild owner to have some type of, of way or you know ability to change the alliance that the guild is kind of tied to. Before I get into all the details, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoy the video, I'd appreciate a like and check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. The website, along with a discount code you can use at checkout, is linked in the description as well. Uh, some things that I, I think there's a lot of changes people would like to see to guilds in general. But as we all know, guilds do change hands. People may quit. People may pass a guild on to someone else because they don't play as much. And at that point, the alliance that the guild is tied to uh, may not be what some people use. You know, Some people play a lot of PvP. Some people may want to change that alliance. Some people may be in the Evan Hart pack and they want to be in the Dagger Fall Covenant or you know, vice versa or whatever the case may be. Some people may want to be in AD. It doesn't really matter uh, you know, what alliance you want to be tied to, but some people would like to have the option, I think, to change that. Uh, some people like to make PvP guilds, and they want to have that guild be, you know, just this one certain alliance. Um, and I can understand the frustration with some players, you know, if you, uh, if, if your guild owner has left, if your guild owner has, has passed it on to someone else, that you can't really change that. Or you can't really, you know, have, a, have an option to even consider changing it. So would it be something you guys would like to see, the option to change the alliance in the guild if, you know, that could be added in somehow? I'm not sure. I'm sure it could be done somewhat easily. I'm not sure how they would handle it. I'm not sure if they would give you the option if you own the guild to change the alliance or if they would make it something like one of the tokens in game, you know, where you can buy a race change or whatever the case may be. But uh, I think it would be really nice to have the option just within the guild, owner's options, you know, all the things that you can look through and go through there. Just to have the option to change the alliance if you would like. Because like I said, over the years, people have played this game on, on PC for seven years, console uh, here on console for six. And like I said, a lot of guilds have changed hands. This kind of goes in, in ha kind of hand in hand with what I talked about before, when I would like to see guild houses and personal homes be a, a separate thing. I would like to see the option to own guild halls in the game and not just be your personal house. Uh, because I've talked about this in that video. If people like to donate things, whether it be Munda Stones, maybe uh, you know a trial dummy, whatever the case may be, they might like to donate things to the guild for people to use. Of course, that is going to one individual that owns a house. And if that individual decides to leave the guild, decides not to play anymore, decides to quit, decides, you know, all that stuff in that home is going to be theirs. They're going to, if they back out of the guild, they're going to own that stuff. So it would be a nice option, I think, uh, to have the ability, if you're a guild owner, to pass these things on, whether it be, you know, the guild hall. So if the guild owner leaves, that, that house is not tied to them. You know, it's just a guild hall that the guild owns. The same would go for something like, uh, like I said, like the Alliance. So if that owner leaves and they have this set to a certain alliance if the next person that takes over would like to change the alliance that the guild is tied to i think that would be a, a neat quality of life change uh just for the people in the guild and the person that is owning it leave me a comment with your thoughts would you like to see some of these changes what are some other things you'd like to see change within the guild option what are some other things you'd like to see come to uh you know guild owners that they could actually have a little bit more control of maybe or if you own your own guild. I know, you know, people would say, well, you can just make your own guild and change it to whatever alliance you wanted. But that's kind of a hard thing to do. If you already have an established guild, even if you only have 50 to 100 members, or if you have 100 to 500 members, it doesn't really matter. Trying to go out and recruit new members is not exactly easy in game. So the option to change a lot of this stuff, I think would be really great. Like I said, the option to change the alliance, I think it would be a great option. Like I talked about in the past video, I will link it up here uh, in the top corner if you guys like to check it out. Uh, the option to have that guild hall instead of just using personal homes, I think would be great. But what are some other things that you guys would like to see? If you're a guild owner uh, or if you're a part of a guild, what would you like to see the uh, the options kind of change to so the, that the person that owns that guild can change some things up within that guild? Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.